Capricorn. This is your week ahead tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is a message for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. It is an energy reading, Capricorn, so you take it how and where it resonates in your life. This message is being brought to you because you needed to hear it or you wanted to hear it. It is an energy reading. It is your reading. Feel free to comment below if you want to share how you're experiencing this energy with everybody else. Interesting. Okay. Um, if you love astrology, like you're a serious astrology geek like I am, then check out my second YouTube channel, Astrology Motivation, where I break down every single week a full astrology forecast for Capricorn and all 12 zodiac signs. You will love it. This reading is... A timeless reading it comes to you when you're meant to hear it and there are many many readings on this site at least over 200 almost 300 for Capricorn alone so check anyone out that calls to you or really resonates with you um, if you want to book a personal reading with me I do do them and I do have availability but it is only through my website www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com only through my website um you could check out the services that i offer and you can book everything there and i hope you do let's get into the cards shall we there has been stress interesting maybe sickness but definitely worry and maybe even cruelty so if you have had a build up somehow in whatever aspect of your life there is a level of cruelty that you have been suffering or a level of pain that you have been suffering um, keeping you up at night that's how that's how you'll know like you'll know how intense it's gotten and I know that I'm talking to you guys out there you, Wow you're probably saying yeah that's been happening to me so this is a sense of here it is front and center um, the confrontation of it taking action and doing something about it because look at this this is the knight of wands looking up at this energy at this energy of worry and stress and maybe even cruelty for some of you um keeping you up at night um and there's a sense of okay i gotta do something with it now this could lead you to creating something you know who writes better albums than people with broken hearts do you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying like it could be that you're using this energy creatively or finding a creative conduit for it or this simply means it's time to take action on this right this could be some I don't think this is somebody that's making you feel this way um, um, but it could also have to do with since king of wands is about our sexuality and our vitality it could be pain or stress or cruelty that you have been experiencing some bullying that you've been experienced when it, experiencing when it comes to like sexual sexual things um now the king of wands is upright here which usually means this is somebody with a lot of confidence so it may be that they're not stressing you out because they're trying to hurt you they you could be stressed out because you are feeling sexuality sensuality or all of these things for somebody that you're not supposed to be feeling it for or that you're feeling all these things and you don't have anybody to connect with so like sexual frustration could be at a peak right now now <laughs> that's a great place to start so where do we go from here capricorn um so there's clarification here with the Eight of Swords. Somebody has abandoned somebody or left somebody, walked away. Or there is a sense of wanting to move away or walk away. Somebody is leaving somebody behind. Could be because there was cheating and that could be what's upsetting you. Or it could be a feeling of being abandoned because you're not connecting or somebody isn't connecting with you sexually. King of Wands is still here on the table. This could be the person that you're dealing with. It doesn't mean that they're an evil person. It just means that this would be the person that you're in the relationship with. This would be Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Most of the time, Capricorns are attracted to Leos, so that's probably who they are. But could be any Capricorn or Sagittarius. Not so much Aries, because there's too much of that 
clashing with the square but Sagittarius or air or uh, Leo there's some sort of you're worried because of something you're worried they're worried whatever it is there's worry concern here of being abandoned or there is sadness here after already having been abandoned so let's move on okay so what is Capricorn supposed to do with this somebody has been stealing cheating or messing around and you didn't know about it now this doesn't have to be necessarily an in intimate partnerships it could have been in something creative you know something that you were doing either way there's some feeling of being drained here of feeling like you've been duped or that somebody has pulled the rug out from underneath you or that whatever you try you can't figure it out and nothing you do is working there is a lot I mean all of this let me show you the cards all of this is swords like all of this it's it's all swords all of it all swords so there is definitely um, at the very least stress at the most maybe mental disorder or depression definitely could be anxiety about being walked out on or what happens if I don't leave am I gonna have to keep suffering this and feeling this way what is this king of wands sitting here for that's what I want to know what does this king of wands have to do with this reading what is going on with this king of wands oh lord can you please tell me what's going on with this king of wands what is happening their world is changing or they're changing maybe they're going through some midlife crisis of some sort um or this could be a global change that is happening uh, then we have the Hierophant to either an industry or to your marriage, right? So it's either global and then there's this more swords. There is some real bad news here that is coming to somebody I think that was internationally known or celebrated um, that has been either called out or finished somehow or some sort of a movement that was happening some action that was being taken that impacted us globally industry level financial level something is is ending and it's caused a lot of pain and suffering and it's caused a lot of stress so it's either for you personally or globally but what that implies is it has something to do with Capricornian energy laws rules regulations as well as big industry big corporate those kind of things there is something that's going on here where we are discovering or creatively finding another way to deal with a circumstance or situation somebody may be bringing something to light or confronting it there is this traditional aspect here of wanting somebody who wants to end torment suffering and pain and stress and sadness taking action against this what does this have to do with Capricorn? What does this have to do with Capricorn? It's an opportunity for you. It's an opportunity for you. It's opening up doors of work for you. It's maybe even opening up doors. Okay, listen, I asked Spirit, you heard me and immediately you said it's opening up opportunities for you to be seen for your work to be seen and for you to find a purpose doing something that you really really adore because you feel like it's important it's not just about making money though there's opportunity to make money but there is a sense of finding something to do that is important and being very very good at it and feeling like I have a purpose again 
I think that's what's going on. You may have felt, and especially because you're Capricorns, if you were having trouble with work or having even trouble with your relationships because you just couldn't find something to do with yourself, this change of events that may or may not be directly related to you does open up opportunities for you to actually start feeling useful again and feeling productive again. And that changes everything. So this main point of stress is now being placated by wheels shifting and opportunities opening up for you to do something or work at something that is really something powerful, something that you absolutely believe in. So let's get a moon card or however many moon cards come out Capricorn we have balanced spirituality and practicality so striking that perfect balance between what you believe in and what you know is possible or finding a way to make something that you care about possible full moon in Pisces this is finding that balance between creativity and productivity or internally being able to recalibrate your practicality for your creativeness and so finding a solution that maybe you hadn't seen before and then we have expect powerful change <laughs> okay um it's almost like that balance that has to be struck between morality and um productivity that sense of it needs to be recalibrated expect powerful change Okay, let me ask the question then for you. Where is this change coming and how is this change coming? Or when and how? What is this powerful change for Capricorn? Um, Page of Pentacles, once again, it suggests either a younger earth sign that you're dealing with. This, is a, this could be a person, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, or it's with regards to financial opportunity or career opportunity so either it's a child that you have in your life or that you care about but there it's all about some sort of resource driven opportunity all right let me know a little bit more god please that maybe you hadn't wanted to put on the table or hadn't been on the table maybe somebody hadn't been looking at you or they were considered you didn't know what your feelings were well this tower is coming around to make the decision for you and i think the opportunity is probably the tower itself so that you can sort of break free from this sense of trying to ignore something or trying to put a decision off because of what you were feeling i think even though the tower can often mean catastrophe it could also suggest in this in this perspective it helps you avoid catastrophe by giving you another outlet but what is this tower what is this tower it seems like something that you were trying to avoid or not look at so what is this tower what is this tower please Ooh, so much to get into what is this tower it's a judgment that comes up so with some sort of announcement or final decision. It's like divine timing and intervention where it's like the clouds part and it brings the walls down. It's almost biblical. And that's why I feel like I don't just think I'm talking to Capricorns here. I think I'm talking to everybody. Something is happening big time and it's got to do with Pluto because Pluto is sitting in um, the last decan of Capricorn right now. So there's major structural change that is happening here. Now, more personally, on a more personal note, we have the Six of Cups. So this could have to do with your family or your children or something that you've sort of idolized or admired from for a very long time. Could even be a connection or a person that comes back from the past somebody that you were childhood friends with nostalgia or something to do with your um your home or your past or six of cups 
you know, it could be just this person that comes in and some random randy dandy that comes in and you end up either cheating or infidelity. I don't think it's to make you see that you're a bad person. I think that there are desires inside of yourself this week that are going to pop off, off over many, many, after such a long time of feeling abandoned, stressed, or abused and not knowing what to do. Now that there's an outlet, there is this sense of pleasure that kind of comes and overtakes you. And it's almost like the universe is saying, you're being pushed into this corner. It's supposed to snap. Because this level of stress that you've been enduring is toxic. And it has to be snapped. It has to be, the break has to finally happen. Let's see how that is going to come about. I'm going to meet you guys in the extended. The link is down below, Capricorn. Yes, and you can find it at the top. Of, I'll pin it to the top of the comment section. If you are on television, watching this on television, then please pick up your cell phone and grab the phone and do all these links. All the links will be available for you there. I'll meet you there.